Hey everyone and welcome to some more Roblox, where today I'm playing a slightly different game from usual. Um, and you probably saw the thumbnail, a thousand plus stages, or levels as some people call them. Well this game is like a parkour game, it's actually the longest, oh I don't think I can see, okay, Roblox switched back to some of the old style um, of this game. Before it used to just be like a panel here. Well, actually, originally it was this, then there was like a panel, and then now they switch back to this. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. We still got the leaderboard, all these different things. But, um, yeah, this is the longest obby in Roblox. Official longest obby. 2,000 plus stages. And uh, let's just look at my stage. Would you look at that? 1042. Now, I cannot explain how many hours I've had to play this game. Honestly, I didn't even do this for YouTube or anything. This is just like a really cool game. Also, I find I do best in this mode of playing because I can see everything above. Sometimes also full screen works well. Yeah, but anyway, I have had to grind this game for about three hours now and I'm probably gonna throw it all away someday but me and my cousin were just playing random games we were like okay let's check it out because we haven't played any obbies in a while and honestly this game has been a lot of fun to play with him I think he's still on like 300 and something stage 300 and something oh look at that I got past the stage usually I tense up whenever I'm doing this I don't know why I just do. I find it kind of strange, but also, it's just what I do. Gotta accept it. Ugh. Sometimes I like do a little jump in my chair. I don't know why, I just get really nervous, and that was a trick. So sometimes, in this obby, there are like many different types of obstacles. There's like spheres and stuff, you have to jump over. Mostly parkour. Sometimes you just gotta balance. It is a little bit hard. And you see, sometimes there'll be like these lines where you have to choose which one's right. Okay, it was this one. Should've known. I don't know if it's just me, but that line looks a little bit different from all the other lines. Sometimes there'll be like these zigzag ones, you just have to like, uh, go through them. Also, um, there are, every time you see these arrows and blue circles, it means it's a checkpoint. You've just officially checkpointed. And where that like 3D arrow is, I'll show you in a second. As soon as I pause this. Yeah, but look at this little 3D jumping arrow here. Basically, that's the nearest checkpoint to you that you need to get to. And basically, whenever you die, you'll go back to that checkpoint. There are also like sometimes these like lasers. Actually, let me show you. They can be any color, but when you die, you die. And nothing's gonna change that. Oh, I just noticed the background on this one is epic. And this game isn't like too laggy or anything. It's actually quite easy to play. Honestly, it's not one of the most like popular games on Roblox, but it's a really fun game just to play. Like if you're playing with a friend or something. Maybe not the most productive game, but it certainly is fun. And, um, yeah, sometimes you can just speed through the levels. Sometimes they take a little bit longer to do. Like, I encounter some levels sometimes that I just can't get past. I think I'm about to rage quit. And I'm like, you know what? I got this. I can do this. So, there are, I think, 2,160 challenges. No, not challenges. Stages. And you just gotta like make your way through all of them in order to complete the game. There are like badges at certain numbers, I'm not sure what they are, but I got like one at 300, I think. Got one at 600, got one at 900. I think it goes every 300. Uh, that was purely my fault. But yeah, um, mobile is really good for this game. Um, it's a really fun game just to play. 
and I find it really relaxing sometimes. Sometimes I get irritated with it because, like, I've tried for a while and I don't get it. Also, you'll see that, like, there are so many different colors of things in the game. It's actually, like, a full map. There are multiple maps, actually. And you just, like, teleport between them at certain checkpoints and then I just died again. You see, sometimes I, I get frustrated with myself. Because I'm like, I know I could have done that. Why didn't I just do that properly? I had one job to do and I didn't do it. I'm not too sure. Okay, okay. Those aren't tricks. Every now and then you just got to check if it's a trick or not. The music is also not... Like, I don't, I don't find it the type of music you would expect for this. It's like, I don't know. But I just don't think that this is the best music type... There are all these like random little bits of challenges. I think that that mouth, that tongue was a trap. Not sure. You know what? It is worth testing. Nope, no trap. Thought it was gonna kill me because it's red. It can be red, black, brown, any, any type of color. I've just died again. This is not going how I expected. Sometimes, wait, that was a trick. Okay, so I think one of these is the correct one. Okay, it was this one, thank god. I didn't want to go along again. There are some really difficult ones. Now, for those of you who have been wondering, I actually have abandoned the Skyblock series. Maybe I will go back to it in the future, but right now I don't see the appeal to Skyblock. After that new fishing update, I don't know if you guys have uh, seen the fishing update. But it just doesn't look. Like now you need water, watering to do your crops. And it's just really, um, I don't like it. Just too, it's too complicated now, let me see. Uh, let me just save my checkpoint. You do have to walk over the checkpoint things in order for them to actually save. There are some people... My word. Some people don't find this game as appealing. There are only like, what, 400 players on it right now? On the entire game right now? But, I don't know. Just test it out. See if you like it or not. Because I find I... I really didn't want to try this when I saw... 2000 stages but after a while it just kind of gets fun you get the hang of it this is also really good parkour practice for all those like other games that require you to do parkour related stuff i just find it really helpful because did i just die oh my word i spent so long yeah like you see that was my fault i i went too close you see the thing is even if the tiniest bit of your character touches like the green or whatever it will literally like kill you instantly and I don't find that the best way also every time uh, I die I use shift lock and just move my screen back up to the top in order for me to actually do this okay then there are these ones where like you can clearly see these green ones are invisible they're gonna give way as soon as you step on them, so you gotta try to get to the pinks, which are a little bit more spaced out. Yo, some of these jumps you do need to have perfect timing for. Some of these courses are pretty easy. There'll be some times you'll just get stuck on a course and then you'll be like, no, no, surely not. This can't be a thing, right? Yeah, but anyway, you gotta just uh, focus. Just get in that zone, that little gamer zone. Okay. Which way do I take? The long and hard way? Green. Or do I take the easy way? Red. I take the green way. Because the red would have most likely been a trick. Sometimes you just gotta get into your little gamer bubble. And just like focus.
Yeah, but um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so I know that when you get to 1,008, not 800, 1,080 steps, you are officially... Wait, what? That killed me. Oh, so so this outside green block was... See, it was like, you could go through it. And then the inside was actually the one I need to do. Uh, my brother has just come. Uh, oh, you're doing a thing video. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Saev will be getting his own channel soon. I'm not sure when exactly, but pretty soon. It's going to be called... About a month's time. It's going to be called Saev Plays. Uh, don't forget to check him out, watch his videos, you know, that kind of stuff. Unless you, like, really don't want to. I mean, it's all your choice. But this game's really fun. Yeah. Saev hasn't actually played it. When we convinced him to play it, he was like, you know what, I'm just going to play Destruction Simulator. No, uh, I, I was actually going to play it. But then my, like, my game didn't lie. It didn't get me into the game and I tried for over 20 minutes. Oh, these are the courses that I love watching you review. Hey, for some reason, they're not falling. Yeah, those ones aren't falling. There are some of them where you can just, like, wait, okay, the white bits aren't going to kill me. Some of them you can just, like, experiment with. Yeah, none of the bits are going to kill you. There we go. This, I know. Like, if there's a big section of, like, normal land you have to work on and, like, a small thing, you know it's a trap. But look at this. Oh. Damn it! Uh, that was that was completely my fault. But look at this. You can just like park it through these. It does give you the default animations though when you play this. Oh, I forgot to show you my not my but the game's recommended jump animation, custom jump animation. So let me just click on this to activate it. Look at that! I don't know about you guys, but I find that ridiculous. How do you jump like that without laughing? That's that's insane. Uh, the most that's insane. I'm not thing. doing that. I'm not doing that at all. Never. You can also like shit. What's this? Research your stage to one. No, 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 no. I'm never clicking on that. Okay, you can disable music. I haven't actually tested it out. Next is out now. I did. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. We start to one. I'm on one thousand plus. I wouldn't like to go back to one. That would be a huge waste of my time. Because it would mean. Also, for some reason, the moon is stuck. Uh, the moon is just like chilling on the floor, in every map as well, not just one. It's just like chilling on the floor, and I'm like, what? Why? Like you see, sometimes it'll just be like random letters. Once I got. Like, I think a few S's. I just kept falling down. Sometimes you'll encounter, like, stages that are basically free stages to pass. And I got a bunch of E's. Great. Oh, no way. That was rather mean. Okay. That wasn't too difficult. Now you see sometimes there will be like those little slip ups that make you restart. Not restart. Make you die. You just gotta focus. Look at how insanely thin this wire is. Oh my word. Imagine if I try. I have to actually. I have to actually properly jump this. Okay. It does get really difficult at some stages, but as long as you don't do anything too stupid, you should be okay. I once like teased Darshan for being behind me when we like first started the game, and then he just sped ahead of me, and I was like, whoa, you got some game, bruh. And then I just let him take the lead, so I would like follow him, and wherever he would mess up, that's where I would remember not to mess up. And then I would just cruise through all the courses as soon as he was done with his. And he got so angry at me. 
Mm. There are also these stages where, like, the pink will kill you. Touch, coming into contact with the, with any poor, any color as well, but like, just coming into contact with it with any parts of your body doesn't have to be like your feet or anything. So there's no preference, but yeah. Oh, there's the stage I was just at, right there. So it does like take you back and forth through the map a few times. You like go, not like repeating courses or stages, but you like go around the map. Like there's like circles and squares and all that stuff. You just have to kind of walk around it. I find it quite epic, not gonna lie. Because this game gives me something to do. I'm not playing Beast One. Oh! Oh, I forgot to mention, like, content about Beast Woman. Okay, so, Skyblock, I told you I abandoned it for now. Until maybe a new update comes out or something. Who knows, maybe they'll remove the fishing update. I don't think they're gonna remove it just for one man. Maybe I could just go around here. Okay, so you can do it the long way. I don't think that's even a possible jump in the middle there. This game, you get super addicted to it super quickly. So you just make sure you stand on the checkpoints. Because sometimes maybe you don't stand on a checkpoint, you go back two stages and you're like, why? Why did this happen? Uh, Jump. Come on, let's go. This honestly has increased my parkour skills by a lot. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard the Field Trip Z game. Usually, I sometimes die to the parkour, um, and now I don't feel like I'm gonna. Because of this game, I feel like my parkour skills have just gone through the roof. Look at this. I actually like tilt my camera in order for me to stop jumping. I learned all these little hacks when you're jumping. Another important thing I would have to say is like, if there's anything that seems suspicious, don't bother experimenting. Just, just go. Because if you experiment and maybe you're halfway through a stage, you're going to go back to the start. I hate these diagonal ones so much because there's such a big chance of me falling. Not falling, failing. Sometimes I will do a little bit of risky stuff every now and then. Sometimes it works. And like you saw there, it doesn't. Okay, no, that wasn't being risky. That was just me forgetting to jump. There we go, jump and jump. And jump and jump. And like sometimes there'll be this like, I don't know if this is properly considered ladder parkour, but it is definitely ladder parkour. Oh, no. Yeah, but I think I'm going to leave it there today, guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is more of a jumping game or a parkour game. Uh... If you want maybe a speedy game or something like walking or running, please click the, I don't know which side it's on, maybe this side, yeah, or this side, I'm not sure. Click the random games playlist because it has all my speed, speed city videos and subscribe to my channel in the middle, you'll see it there. And also if you want to check out Basically, if you want me to check out any other game on Roblox, please tell me what it is. Tell me what you have to do in it. If you don't want to, like, that's completely good. I understand. Uh, oh, my word. I'm going to die. Yeah, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed me failing at this game. I have made it more than halfway and I will try to complete this game because I am determined by the power of YouTube and by the power of Roblox I will finish this game 
So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.